All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company, actually out here in Seneca County. But here's an interesting one for you here. This should give you some ideas as far as how to set up a garage, set up a home, and then also have an attaching goat building to it. So 40 by 64 that we're looking at, and then also a 32 by 80 goat building. And then let me go around here now, share with you. We'll do a little walk here, and then I'll give you some specs as far as if you're looking at dimensions on these windows and I'm going to cheat a little bit I have my envelope in my left hand but you can see how this is attached and you probably ask yourself those at home there on your couch on your sofa wherever you're at there but check this one out there look at that thing foundation and that's the 40 by 64 then the garage is attached to that 32 by 80 goat building there with the, um, the Dutch doors there all right you can see a flatter rib uh, ceiling on that. And then also, right here, that standing seam look right here, 12 inches on this. You see that, a white, a white there. See, that's 12 inches right there, but that gives you that standing seam. Not a standing seam, but a wider panel look there. And then also, this right there, that plastic, that's a PVC, that's a plastic, that's not brick facade there. But how we hook this up there, actually we nail it at the top and then we nail it at the bottom, but there's, there's ridges behind this. You know, this is not a flat, as you can see, this is wavy. And that's what keeps it from coming out or, you know, in inclement weather, windy or whatever. That keeps it tight with that. But let me just share with you over here, then we'll go inside and I'll show you the interior of this, but this still needs some interior work done. You can see the wraparound porch. I'll give you some ideas as far as those windows. I'll come back and we'll knock that out. But check out that. We custom built that, obviously, slider right there, I believe. Let me look down. Yeah, 16 by 12 right there. Slider on there. And then that one, that overhead door. Um, I'm showing a 10 by 10, but that don't look like a 10 by 10 to me. Um, but you can see here, yeah, you see the goat building runs there. But as far as the windows, they're 21 three by four, so you can see on the goat building. All right. And then we also, up here, we have eight three by nine windows as well. As I look at my note card here, and let's see if you can see that over here. All right, so that's the specs on that. So again, 21 three by fours, two four by fours, eight three by nines, and it's 16 by 12 and a 10 by 10. All right, and then a wraparound porch. But let's go inside here and check this out again. Got some material work to do here. Let me see if I can climb up here. So you can see what we did. Obviously the foundation, we subcontracted this out, put a foundation wall on this. But you can see we put stick frame two foot on center there. You see that nice gable, kind of a bay window right up there on the home section. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. And again, trusses here. You can see what we did here as far as this, the home section. And then obviously this will be the goat section attached to the garage. But you can see right there, as I back up here, you can see we did a two by six bottom cord. We span those four foot on center on the garage section of this building right there and then on the home section we put obviously two foot on center truss spacing use the vapor barrier up top there and you can see what we did as well on these trusses right here again that 32 by 80 you can see we put that girder as a header on top of there all right and what else am I gonna share with you? But definitely give you some ideas as far as if you're looking to construct something like this. You know, maybe you have some animals and you wanna build a home garage, put your animals right here, but obviously there'll be a divider in here. And we'll come back out once this is um, more, you know, under, or more constructed. But you can see what we did here as far as these. We put Luan on the backers of these Dutch doors. All right, so an interesting thing here. All right. Give you kind of an idea here. 
So, and then we put Luan on that front one to the garage. So, all right, comments always welcome here. Till the next one, keep it locked and loaded right here. Out of Columbia, out of Columbia since 1925.